So today we are going to be cooking Mexican chicken taco salad. And I thought it would be cool to, to, to chop this entire salad blindfolded. Yes, blindfolded. And we do have a first aid kit here. And uh, <laughs> there's a slight, I'm slightly concerned about it. So today we are going to be cooking Mexican chicken taco salad. I love Mexican food. I think I could eat Mexican food all week long and maybe even move to Mexico. Who knows, it's amazing food. And the connection is looking at our prayer life and looking at spiritual disciplines. That word disciplines isn't really very, it's not very attractive in today's world, but it, it, it refers to the last 1500 years of Christians practicing spirituality. So it, it, it describes a daily rhythm. A discipline is like the thing that you do every day, like a pattern, the thing that you are doing you know, in, in the everyday life. Think about brushing your teeth. When you were a child, your mum told you to brush your teeth and you're like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to do it. And she's always saying, have you brushed your teeth? Have you brushed your teeth? And, and, and it's annoying. But after a while, and you don't quite know when, brushing teeth becomes normal. It's like breathing and you don't remind, no one needs to remind you to brush your teeth, hopefully. Uh, it's just something that you naturally do in, in the rhythm of life, like having your breakfast. And prayer can be like that, that we do it so often that we forget that we're even doing it. Like breathing, uh, a daily thing. And it's not something that you check in and check out of. It's something that becomes very much part of us. and. Uh, it's like 24-7, if you like. Now, why am I saying that? Well, you have to practice these things. It's like exercise. And the more that you practice, the more it, it, it becomes a rhythm that you do without thinking. Sometimes we might say body memory, or the way that you do things. And, and I thought it would be really cool to model body memory to you in the way that I make this salad. Because in my spiritual life, I practice my prayer. And, and I do it, I get up in the morning and I make myself some tea, a pot of tea, very English, uh, with loose tea and I, I set my, and I light a candle and I sit down and I'm quiet. And I do it every morning and it's, I just do it. I don't think, oh, I need to remember to have a prayer time, I just do it. I check in and check out and, and, and connect with God all throughout the day because I've practiced it many times. And I thought it would be cool to, to, to chop this entire salad blindfolded Yes, blindfolded, and we do have a first aid kit here, and uh, <laughs> there's a slight, I'm slightly concerned about it. But I've chopped and I've used my knife for many years, 20 years I've worked in catering. And I know how to use my knife without thinking, at least I like to think so. And so chopping, I can do it blindfolded because my hands know what to do. They're practiced, it's a rhythm. So we're gonna have a go, and I'll talk through uh, the, the salad as we go and hopefully there'll be no blood. I'm hoping that I look like uh, some kind of uh, ninja. I have brought my uh, easier knife. I really can't see anything. Um, so I, I didn't, I didn't want to use my normal one because it's so sharp it really would take my finger off. This is my Chinese one. Um, so we're going to start with uh, white cabbage, okay? And uh, so we're gonna chop the white cabbage really fine. And I can't see, but again, my hands know what to do, even if my eyes aren't guiding. The whole crew is sort of probably sitting and one slightly fearful that something's gonna go wrong. So, uh, where's my plate? Okay, so we start with a bed of, of finely chopped, <laughs> finely-ish chopped, uh, I've got some Spring onions as well. So we've just finally chopped some spring onions. <laughs> Try and do it as quick as I can. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? So we have some red pepper, and we're gonna chop that finely. Probably in this context, the word fine is a relative term, but uh, 
and the challenge will be to just get through this without chopping my fingers off. Otherwise, my point's not made. Okay. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, that's my lemon. Okay, so chicken. I've pre-cooked this chicken. I marinated it in some smoked paprika, garlic, and some salt and pepper, and then fried it gently. And uh, you can do this cold. This is a lovely lunch or main meal. I cook this for my kids quite a lot. Uh, and it goes down really well. So, and again, I want you to keep thinking about your spiritual life. Think about the practices that you do every day. Uh, here's some jalapenos. The more that you do it, the more it becomes natural to you and part of your life. I have some coriander somewhere. It's like reading your Bible. It's like just practicing silence. It's like just chatting to God and talking to him. Practice, 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 and your muscles will grow. And your, that body memory or that spiritual body memory will, will develop. And, and it becomes part of your life and you don't know when, you, uh, when you're not praying and when you're just living life. Living life with God. And I think we hear a lot of that in today's world. Living life with God, not for him or, or trying to please him, but actually doing life with him. A bit like the, the Emmaus Road in the Bible. We walk and we talk and we, we do natural things. So I've made a, a pico de gallo here, which is a Mexican salsa. It's red uh, onion, it's tomatoes, it's coriander or cilantro, depending on the country that you're in. And it's a bit like a nice, um, yeah, garnish, I suppose. <laughs> this is where I'm not sure I'll be pouring it actually on the plate, um, but you get, the, you get the point. So uh, the moment of, of truth. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, Mexican taco salad. Slight mess on my chopping board, but hopefully it makes the point. Practice your spirituality. Practice being with God, your prayer, your, your, your contemplation of, of, of the word, and it will become part of you, and it will release great joy in your life. And you won't feel bad about whether you're being a good enough Christian or whether you're being spiritual enough. It just, it's normal. And it is normal walking with God. So thanks for coming. If you liked this or enjoyed this session, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And we'll see you next time.